good morning from Table Rock Lake. We are at uh, the Table Rock Lake State Park Campground number one, we're on that side. Very interesting story though regarding Site 180. Let me turn around and tell you the story, but we're stuck in it right at the moment. Uh, it's very interesting. It is a little bit misleading uh, on the website. The, uh, the site is not as level as it says it is on the website. And really it's like it's level ish from side to side but not front to back but they also mentioned when i went up there this morning to move sites or to, to change for the future once we get out of this site then uh it just like there's trees all around it here let me let me show you it's pretty interesting yep so here's site 180 which i mean overall i mean it's great because there's nobody on this side until you get way up here which is fine you know, nice trees. There's a trail right back behind here that runs, right, you know, it's like right there. You got 50, 30 amp, 15 uh, hookups right there on the side. You know, the site's in trees. It's nice and shaded. But, I mean, like, we couldn't even get level front to back. You know, we're still like six inches high, which I, we just had to sleep there for the night. Because there were so many trees that if you have a camper something that's you know 30 feet long do not take site 180 and i know some of the challenges was you know use, us using our pro pride hitch because it you know it has different physics designed into the hitch as far as turning but getting into it oh my gosh was a pain in the butt like our our awning was starting to catch this tree that's right closest to the corner then when we try to pull out we you know these two here in the way it was gonna you know the trailer swing on it trying to get back out of the site i mean you can see i was dragging a little bit kind of coming through here these trees over on this side are in the way trying to turn in or in or out i mean it just sorry the geometry of this site just does not work uh, for a trailer this length like you can get it in i mean really we're, we're literally trying to pull out across today to go this way out of it and hopefully we can get out of the site i mean yesterday we were literally stuck in the road we worked at it for two and a half hours but overall the site is a good site you know it is a nice nice site so anyway uh we'll we'll get to do two campground campsite reviews this time catch you at the next site okay end of the day so earlier today we did move over we got got out of our fiasco down the road here now we're in site 183, and which is actually just a couple down. But I'm gonna show you a, a little bit more of what happened with 180 here in just a second, but I wanna show you show you this one real quick. This, this site is much leveler. It's also a little bit longer than 180. Uh, it was way easier to get into. Here, let me uh, spin it around for you. So yeah, getting into 183, is way easier like i said it's much 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 longer you know asphalt but you can pull right up here and back in oh, oh hi, they want to wave at the camera <laughs> we've had a lot of fun at whitewater today and silver dollar city but anyway this site same thing with electric 50 30 15 does back up still got you know some good uh, good shade the other side you probably have to use an awning uh, earlier in the morning, it was uh, had a little bit more sun, but uh, you know, asphalt for the pad. It's fairly level. I didn't have to use a little Anderson blocks. I think it was an inch and a half down. And then you come over here. You know, neighbors are over on this side, but it still backs up to the to the trees. You got your fire pit, picnic table. You know, not a lot of room back behind back here could say you know it's got a lake view in here of table table rock lake but yeah this site uh cell phone service you know we're because we're right here in silver dollar city area uh silver dollar city branson area we do have good cell phone coverage with verizon um but overall here i'll just do a quick pan around and then i'll go up and i want to show you this this other one the rest of it, what I was talking about with 180, if you look at that site. Mm. So here, this is this loop, and we're in uh, campground 
number one at Table Rock Lake State Park. And there he is again. <laughs> anyway. All right. Here, I'll run up here and we'll show you this. So yeah, so this was site 180. What you didn't know and what you can't tell is, you know, it really slopes off here. And that was part of the problem. So this tree uh, got in the way, especially with the length of our camper. That's what I was talking about in that video. Um, it's nice, you know, lots of trees all around. Nice little site. Uh, it's fairly long, but it's not as long there as, as 183. The other, eye, uh, the other thing is if you have a really long camper, what you can't tell is what we could do is I could only get it within like six inches of, of level. We had to sleep last night with it tilted downhill because uh, you can't you can lower it far enough. So anyway, that was the crazy thing. No, the crazy thing was when we pulled out and <laughs> drove, I literally drove, Remember, you can see the track still. Had to drive through here and luckily made it all the way around because we were literally stuck in that site last night. So we could not get it out, out of there. Yeah, so that's it. There you go, 180, 183. Anyway, check back next time. Take care.